When I was a kid, I was obsessed with Star Wars, like probably many of you kids. And I really wanted to feel the force. And I tried and tried and didn't feel anything. <laughs> Later, I became a graduate student at MIT. I graduated, joined the MIT faculty, and started working on wireless systems, things like Wi-Fi, uh, cellular systems. I did many contributions to make your Wi-Fi, for example, higher data rate, more reliable. But there was something about that force that kept nagging. And I started thinking at some point, maybe these wireless signals that I work with are like the force. If you think about it, wireless signals travel in space, they traverse walls and occlusions, and they actually reflect off our human bodies. And some of those reflections, they come back. And if, maybe if, I have a device that can analyze those minute reflections, I can start understanding how people behind walls and people that I cannot see, how they are moving, how they are interacting with each other. And that would be something like the force. So I started working with my student on developing a smart Wi-Fi box that you can put in your home. And that Wi-Fi box just will use the electromagnetic waves around you to analyze your movements. It will know exactly how you are moving if you take a step or move your arm it would know it. And you might be surprised, but actually, all of you guys live in a sea of wireless signals. Now you are sitting here, there is plenty of Wi-Fi cellular signals around you. And even the, the simple movement of your arm actually changes those electromagnetic waves and registers on the wireless signals. And our device used machine learning algorithm and AI to analyze those reflections and understand what you did, that you lifted your arm. And that, to us, started looking like really the force. But how powerful is this electromagnetic force, really? We started looking at the signal, and we noticed that actually the signal changes, even if nobody moves. And it turned out that we can get your breathing, your heartbeat, without putting any sensor on your body. And even if you are behind walls and occlusions, simply by analyzing the surrounding electromagnetic waves. I told my student, OK, so all of that is related to motion, pulses of our blood, breathing, chest movements. But can we relate the wireless signal to brain activities? Can we understand something or detect brain activities using wireless signals? They started looking at sleep. So you guys probably know that when you go to sleep, your brain waves change, and you enter different stage, light sleep, deep sleep, REM, when actually you, you dream during REM. And these are not just sleep disorder. They are related to Alzheimer and depression. So it's very important to analyze those sleep stages. But today, if you want to understand somebody's sleep stages, you have to put electrode on their head. You do EEG and you ask them to sleep with these electrodes. Our device can understand all sleep stages very accurately and would know when you dream without anything on your head. Today we are working with physicians and pharmaceutical companies who are very much interested in putting this device in patients' homes to understand disease progression, to understand reaction to medications, to, man to monitor movement, breathing, sleep, all of that. And I really believe that we can actually disrupt healthcare with such a device. Because just imagine putting such a device in grandma's home, actually, then it will monitor her health. If she falls, it will call you and tell you to come help her. And not only this, it will detect changes to her health and very soon will be able to predict health emergency and tell her doctor so that he or she can intervene early before this ending up in a hospitalization. And that can change healthcare as we know it today. My name is Adina Kitabi, and I'm an MIT professor. And I really love MIT. Uh, not just because they hired me, I love them for that too. <laughs> But MIT is just an amazing place. It's the only place where I can 
see a colleague in the corridor and say, oh, I'm working on monitoring your breathing and heartbeat through his wireless signal. And he say, oh, well, and I'm working on robots inside the body. Let's work together on this. Can you detect my robot? It's a place where there is space for any crazy idea that you have, and that makes it wonderful. I really hope that this whole idea that started with a kid obsession of star with Star Wars will be able to transform itself into a powerful force that can change healthcare and improve and improve people's lives. Thank you.